You know, when I was a kid, one of my favorite movies of all time was The Never Ending Story. And this might be the end of my story so far. So this is not The Never Ending Story. Or is it? Today on Topher's Take. If you recall last week, we had, I had just started going back to the church that I grew up in and I saw that a lot of people have changed, had changed. Now, now maybe I had grown up some, you know, and when I was younger and more ignorant, you know, I did not see the spiritual growth there, you know, that was already taking place. Or maybe there was some kind of revival that took place when I was gone, I'm not really sure which one of the two I could see, honestly see either. But, you know, I went there and it wasn't too long before I started serving. You know, I did a, a small group, you know, led a small group, a class on Sunday mornings. You know, which that got turned into me working with the youth, you know, and doing their Sunday school class. You know, it actually started when I was talking to some of the youth about the bands and you know, that they like and that I like, and somebody noticed that, you know, that I re had a real way with talking to them and relating to them. You know, so I got asked to co-teach a Sunday school class, you know, every other week, and then it came every week, and sooner or later, I was doing it, you know, every week, junior high and senior high, and I was there leading the Sunday school class on Sunday mornings, which was cool because... They had two services, a uh, contemporary and a uh, you know, traditional one. So I'd go teach during the traditional, which would allow me to attend the contemporary service, you know, which has more of the modern praise and worship music. A little bit later, you know, after I was doing this for a while, I ran into a problem. You see, the pastor there at the time he was a good motivational speaker, but I wasn't getting a whole lot out of what he was saying. You know, I'd listen to him, I think he was an excellent talker, but I wanted someone who would go deeper in the Word, who would, you know, dig deep, and I was looking for more someone who was more of an expository preacher, you know, and this guy just wasn't. So I started going to look for that other places, at different churches, you know, like on a Monday night you know, Bible study with some of my friends over at the local Waffle House, you know, and because I was looking for that other places, it kind of opened some doors for me, like, it allowed me to, the Monday night Bible study I referred to actually became a class where you could go get college credit. And that actually, you know, became me trying to get my degree in youth ministry, which is something I'm still working on, and I might come circle back to that a little bit later, a little bit later. But, you see, I wasn't getting fed at this church. You know, I was pouring my heart, you know, my soul into the youth group, into the youth Sunday school class, and I wasn't getting anything back out. And it got you know, a little bit more serious for a little while because, you know, I was, got involved in leadership of the church. I was on two committees, you know. I had gone through the training, you know, to become a certified, you know, lay speaker, which basically means if the pastor was sick, I could fill in for him, you know, on a Sunday. And I could do that with any church, you know, in the district. And yet I never got called. You know, and I had this passion, this heart, for sharing what I learned, just for sharing the gospel, you know, with other people in the church, and I was feeling so drained because I didn't have any of that, you know, being, I didn't have anybody really pouring back into me, and it wasn't just the pastor, you know, it was, there was no real fellowship there with, you know, anybody my age, because there's really no one there my age. Yeah, there was a handful, maybe three or four of us, but, you know, I really didn't connect. I really didn't bond with anybody there. You know, so, I got into it one, 
well, not got into it, but I started disagreeing with the pastor and some things he was saying, you know, because they didn't match up with what I thought or what I believed. You know, one of the issues was baptism, and, and I'm not going to get into that in detail, but I started looking for another church, you know, after a lot of prayer and consideration, because I really did enjoy what I was doing. When I was teaching that Sunday school, and I really honestly did enjoy that. I felt like that was answering a call in my life. I just didn't think it was teach, you know, teaching a class on Sunday morning. So I started looking at these churches, you know, start attending them on Sunday mornings, and one of the guys walks up to me, you know, and I. You know, obviously, you know, I'm not going to mesh or blend in, you know, too easily in a lot of churches. But I remember, I was attending this one, and this guy walked up to me after service. He's like, dude, you look like you like coffee. I'm like, yeah, I do like coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? And it's totally sane. You know, he's like, let's go get coffee sometime. You know, and we made plans, you know, and I really loved what the preacher had to say that morning, so... Because that guy went out of his way to reach out to me, you know, and say, hey, let's go get coffee. Because I liked the preacher, I came back. And I started going back, you know, again and again. And that is, you know, that slowly became my home church. And to this day, you know, I still have those people that, you know, I connect with easily. And the preacher is still very excellent. And I feel like I have grown in my faith where I'm at now. I told you that I enjoyed teaching, you know, and I think lately that's taken on a different form. You see, I started writing a blog. Uh, ironically, the first one I started was Topher's Take, but then I started another one called Topher's Testament, you know. It's uh, Topher's Testament at dot .wordpress .com. You know, go check it out sometime. But. You know, between doing me, you know, writing and me doing this, I feel like it's answering that call for me to, you know, lead or for me to teach. You know, because I've had the training, like I mentioned, you know, before. This is just something that resounds or echoes, you know, within my soul. I also mentioned I'm still doing classes to become, you know, youth pastor, which is a means for me to get involved in Christian education more because I would love to work within the church. You know, everybody talks about going on outreaches. You know, I want to do an inreach. I want to reach the people who were just like me, who grew up in the church and, you know, still did not get it. And I think I can do that effectively through infiltrating, the, you know, uh, Christian, or Christian education in a church. And maybe the church that I'm at, because that's, you know, the pastor's heart is as well. I told you this might be the end of my story, but it's not. I've just brought you up to date on it. You see, I am 38 years old, or years young, you know, depending on how you how you want to look at it. I still probably got another solid 20 or 30 in me. So, and even at, even when I do pass on, my story is it done. My story will continue up there when I am praising my Savior all the day long. My name's Topher, and that's my take.